Stream at Sports live stream here. Chatfield and Horizon 26-21 ready to go and Horizon has to kick it away. What a bizarre finish there as we came up on intermission. Squib kick. Up man just going to fall on top but at about the 22 yard line or 27 yard line I should say. Wise move after bobbling it for a moment. A muffed punt gave Horizon the football down in the red zone. Chatfield defense and well time on the clock stopped Horizon. A pass inbounds they couldn't spike it on fourth down. Odell will get the carry here as he takes it up close to the 34 yard line. Quick strike offense going back to work here. Again, they try to get it to the outside. Hawks defense right there, though, this time. Cooling down considerably. On the carry that time, Dominic Brom. So Brom with the carry. Third down, short, Winkler rolling now. He's going to throw it on the run. Got a man wide open, up in it at the 45-yard line. How does he get so wide open? Wow, that's Chase Johnson on the far side. Quickly steps out of bounds and goes to the bench there. Up to the 45. Gain of about 21. First down to 10. Winkler, quick throw to that right side. Caught out there at the 40. Tackled down near the sidelines over there at about the 38-yard line. And on the catch, Chase Robinson. Robinson with the catch now. Winkler finding two different receivers. Not Odell in the pattern necessarily. Odell caught a lot in that first half. Whoop, fumble. Winkler's on top of it. Bad snap. Chatfield took the lead late in that second quarter. Defense stepped up, got it done. Now a chance to possibly extend it. Play action, he'll roll right, dump pass off to that right side, tripped up and out of bounds near the 30-yard line. And the receiver so fast stepped off to the side over there. I don't know if that was Robinson again. Here they go from the 31. Pitch to the outside. Cut it back up now. Odell tackled forward to about the 27. Oh, Braden Gilbert actually got it from the eye back spot. Quickly right back to work. Winkler's rolling right. Got a little bit of trouble. Out of trouble now. Stops, dumps it. Scooped off the tip of the uh, AstroTurf down there. Nice catch. Gilbert again. This time out in the pattern. Winkler kind of short armed that one a little bit. Ball at the 26. Eighth play of the drive now for the Chargers. Delayed draw up the middle. Big hole there. Up to the 16 yard line. Well, that's Gunkel on the carry. Put it to near the 17. Gain of nine and up for the first down. Second man through. Oh, huge hole. Touchdown. Wow like the gates opened up for Brom. Dominic Brom with the touchdown from 17. Defense never saw him. Squirted his way right through there. Now 32-21. Extra point upcoming here potentially. Yep. Would make it 12, all you need is one. Two score game as it is. 
two previous two-point conversions were not good, but the extra points are fine. By Becca Morris. 9.24 to go here in this third quarter, and the Chargers have extended their lead. No one knows the South Jeffco house market quite like Steve Westfall. With 20 plus years of local experience, Steve can help you with your buying or selling needs. Talk to Steve Westfall with Remax Professionals, 303 716 3633. Well, how about that? 33 21 now, Chargers. Big lead of the game, took the lead late in that second quarter. Defense stepped up, stopped a potential tying score or actually would have given up the lead, but the defense stepped up, stopped Horizon. Now they'll kick it away here. Turned into a fall-like night, gloomy and rainy. Scooped up at about the 16 by the return man and to about the 27 is as far as he's going to get. Castiglione with the return this time. Swip kicks uh, working much better than the deep potential kicks. Both teams have decided to start squibbing it a little bit. Horizon starts from their own up near the 30-yard line is where they're going to put it. Aiden Carricker and look at that swarming defense by Chatfield. There were five guys bursting through there. Art Toledo had nowhere to go. We'll give credit. Maurice Barley was there. Gator was there. Ellis there. Making life miserable for Toledo that time. Character rolling. In trouble, trying to come back, and will throw this one toward the sideline, and a flag will come out. There was a receiver trying to come back and in the area, so we'll see. Well, the Whitecaps not even going to think about it. He's going to make the call. There is actually, you know he was trying to throw it away, but Jacob Dinkle was in the area. He was hustling toward the football and was within 10 yards by the time it landed. I don't know if he would have gotten there. But the white cap says, no, nope, we're just gonna, we're gonna make that call, not even worry about it. He was definitely trying to get rid of it. Not a lot of argument from Horizon. Take him back to the 10 yard line now. Third and about 29. Got to get a first down at the 39. Over the seam, wide open. Big gain here. Chunks of yardage up to the 37-yard line. Taylor Clements got right into the middle part of the field, got behind the linebackers, and Carricker put it right on the money. Twenty-seven yards, and now a manageable fourth and three if they want to do it. Whistles blow here as the rain comes down. Now a timeout here. Eight oh five to go in the third quarter. Hawks thinking they had probably better go for it here. Just for the simple fact that the Chatfield defense has gotten better as the game has gone along. And the offense has just continued to cruise along. Need new tires or brakes? No better place than Les Schwab of Littleton. Give them a call, 303. 798-4071, or you could stop in at 133-31 West Bowles Avenue. The ball sale happening now. Let's 
Schwab of Littleton. I don't think the Chargers have punted tonight. They have scored each time they've had the football. Man, looks like Horizons thinking about punting for the second time tonight. They will indeed. Left-footed punter and nobody back there to return it. And well, there is a Charger actually chasing it a little bit. The last time that happened, the ball bounded and ended up hitting one of the Chargers. Chatfield will start at their own 17-yard line. So here comes Kyle Winkler up the middle. A handoff to the running back. Huge, huge chunks of yardage. Brom with the carry this time. Fresh legs. He only carried it a handful of times in that first half. 20 yards on the carry. First down and 10. Back to work they go. Winkler rolling. Still got the football. Little safety bow out to the outside. Five yards and that's about it. Receivers tackled on that far side as the rain continues to come down a little heavier. I believe, and it's hard to pick it out. I think Chase Johnson on the catch there. Winkler setting up the screen here to the near side. Got blockers out front and got a lot of green in front of him. Away he goes. Touchdown, Chatfield. Gunkel with the catch. He had five guys in front of him. Lucas Gunkel, the senior. Wow. Well, that is uh, it's about a 55-yard touchdown catch and run set up by a screen. Gunkel in the end zone for the first time. Winkler with his third touchdown pass. Two to Odell and one to Gunkel there, and that was just a scream. Well set up. Mares with the extra point. And it's 40 to 21. You get the feeling the route may be on here now that the rain is starting to fall. It's going to get harder to throw and catch that football a little bit with the conditions. But that's something that Horizon's going to have to do. Most likely a squib kick coming here. Yep, squibbed here to the short side. The up man's going to take it at about the 29-yard line. Well, smart play. Ch Chase Kinstan, the sophomore, not even going to try to scoop it up. So first down and 10 for Horizon. Here comes the Charger defense again. Forced a three and out despite a 27 yard gain. Up the middle they go. Toledo on the carry, got a couple, and then he's going to be forced back. Into the middle of that defense there. Downey along with Dalton Keene. 
On the tackle there for the Chargers, gain of three. So second and seven coming here. Now the rain's starting to come down even harder. I had to switch to the winter coat. Not the full one. Oh, ball's in the ground. Toledo got back on top of it and actually picked up a couple of yards to about the 34. That is twice we have seen the exchange between Aiden Carricker and Art Toledo go awry. And that's twice Toledo's been able to fall on the loose ball. Well, most of the weather forecasters were saying that summer was over after yesterday's, what, 94 degrees at DIA. Got the 96 in town, I think. No more 90s. We're all done. Carricker, look it. Left side. Got a man out there. Floats it out there. Good move by the receiver on the far side. And will step out of bounds at about the 46-yard line. That's Gino Tate over there. Where that ball hung up there for a while. Got a flag down potentially here. Yeah, white caps are talking. The white cap is talking to, I believe, his umpire. Umpire with the towel up front. Here comes the call. Well, maybe. Looks like they're going to walk it forward, though. It's against Chatfield. Defensive holding against the Chargers. They'll wipe that off. They'll go ahead and take the game. Up to the 45, that's enough for a first down. 11 yard, pitch and catch, and run there by Tate. Up to the 45, that's enough for a first down. 11 yard, pitch and catch, and run there by Tate. New set of downs for Horizon. Option play, belly option, and Carricker busting through. Down to about the 46 yard line. Boy, solid run that time. Dalton Keene down around the legs will finally get him down. Eight-yard pickup, though, for Carricker. Ran a lot in that first quarter, and then not so much in the second. It may be part of the plan to get him out there and run a little bit. Hand off to the fullback. Quick hit up the middle. Gator right in the middle of it. Dylan Ellis up there as well. Will, uh, Wilson, the fullback with the carry. Picked up three and another first down for Horizon here. Five minutes to go in the third quarter. Base set out of the eye formation here. Chargers have four up front and Toledo. Caught around the legs as he tried to go into the line. That play just a little slow developing. How about that? Dylan Ellis down around the legs. Got there first. No gain. Well, a gain of maybe a half yard. We'll call it second on a very long nine. Back to the fullback. Cross buck and up to about the 32-yard line. Iback goes one way, headed to the left side. Wilson gets the handoff underneath, though, and comes right back the other way. 12-yard pick up there. Well-designed run play. Well, give credit to Horizon. They're going with what they know, and with the weather conditions, they did have a pass to Geno Tate. Is enough for a first down, but they are sticking to the ground here. Especially in these conditions. Back to the fullback, nowhere to go. That was blowed up. Wilson 
had two guys down around his legs, and Conrad Bristol finished him off, driving him backwards. A loss of about a half yard here, so second down and 11. Let's see what the Charger defense dials up here. Been a pretty steady set of runs here. Whoop. Well, they'll give them five. Down lineman jumped into the neutral zone. Well, that opens up your options a little bit offensively. Long discussion here, let's see. Yep, encroachment against Chatfield here, so second 11 becomes second and six. Down around the 27 yard line. Horizon's got to put one on the board here. Their defense hadn't been able to stop Chatfield. Option play. Carricker wrapped up as he leans forward to about the 25 yard line. Only a gain of a couple that time. Boy, he really had nowhere to go. Barley was there. Matt Gator. So a pickup of two, two and a half minutes to go, or excuse me, 2.27 to go here in this third quarter. Rain still falling, third and four for Horizon. Fullback, that's Wilson stepping out of a tackle now, still on his feet. He'll be drugged down at about the two yard line. Got to the line, hesitated, but their arm tackles weren't gonna slow him down. Wow, a run of 23 yards. The clock will stop. We've got a Chatfield player that is cramping up. I'm trying to spot who it is. Dylan Ellis, I think. And again, it's all just about stretching out. Oh, week two. They played two weeks ago. Get a week off, back they come, trying to get that conditioning thing going. Man, oh man. Still in the third quarter too. Charger defense got their backs in the end zone again. For a big pickup by Wilson, the fullback. They give it to Wilson to try to finish it off. Is he in there? Boy, long look. Referees running in. Touchdown. Keenan Wilson with the touchdown run of two yards. 11 plays. 71 yards. Boy, did they take a lot of time, though, to get it done. That was five minutes and seven minutes. Boy, I'll tell you what, that's, it's not a quick strike offense. You are now within 13. You're gonna go for the extra point here, but, well, now they're waiting on a lineman. Well, I'll tell you what, Coach Waimara and his uh, coaching staff will have a few things to pick out with Horizon and just mistakes. Just second week of the season, you want them to be better. Your one guy misses on the special team. Got out there in time, got the kick off, the extra points good. 40 28 now. 12 point lead still holding for the Chargers, though, and the offense will get it back, and they haven't punted all night. Now, does this quick strike offense? What's your philosophy? Do you just go ahead and 
keep going with the quick, quick strike offense, or do you slow it down, try to burn a little bit of time? Well, we'll see. Thanks to the Chatfield Gridiron Club. Bringing Stream It Sports on board here to follow Chatfield football throughout the season. Look forward to following them all the way through the regular season here. You can find the Chatfield Gridiron Club at chatfieldfootball.com, on Facebook at Chatfield Football, and you can tweet to them. Never figured out, is that tweet at or just tweet to? That's Chatfield FT Football, at Chatfield FT Football. I follow them on my Twitter. It's a Lopes New Sports, L-O-P-E-S New Sports. You can tweet at me. I'm fine with that. Well, kind of an onside, more of a squib kick, but wow, covered quickly at about the 39-yard line. Chatfield is going to have great field position here. I feel like I need to throw uh, some plastic over us here. The start, rain's starting to come in the windows here. Chargers will have it at their own 38-yard line. Here we go. Boom. No place for Odell to go. Boy, that's a big Evan Becker. Junior down lineman there. Becker with the tackle. Goes back to the 36. Handoff again. Uh oh, ball might be on the ground. Scramble for it. Who's got it? Chargers say they still have it. That ball popped loose, though. Yep. Chargers do have it. Right about the 40 yard line. Oh, boy. Ugly conditions. You're not going to throw the ball around now. Here we go, third and eight now, Winkler. He'll throw it, why not? Looking, looking, nobody there. And he's gonna be taken down after a short gain on the far sideline over there at about the 43 yard line. And for the first time tonight, the Chargers are gonna have to punt as the conditions continue to deteriorate here. Fourth down, pooch punt. Ooh, just got it away. And a good punt over to the far side, rolls out at about the 22 yard line. 23 yard line instead, and Horizon has forced Chatfield to punt for the first time tonight. So here comes Horizon back onto the field offensively now. A little over five minutes on their drive. The last time they had the football. Another one of those and you get yourself to within five points here. We'll see. Carriker might have kept that one. He did. Up to about 23, 27 yard line, excuse me. Gator in on the tackle. And that's the end of the quarter. Wow. Well, the rain is falling harder here. It is getting colder. But the Chargers have the lead, 40-28 here. 12 minutes left in this one between Chatfield and Horizon on Stream It Sports. I'm not sure that was 60 seconds. I think both teams just want to get going here. <laughs> so it works out. Off to Art Toledo. Toledo leans forward. He's got a first down. It's that second effort. Gain of seven. The secondary had to really come up on that one. Second level to try to stop him. Allen Horizon, new life. Old Moe is on the 
hot side. Forced Chatfield to punt for the first time tonight, and now the offense starting to gather a little steam here. 11 play drive for a touchdown to get to within 12 here. We need to do it a little faster than that. Carricker is going to come back the other way, and he's got a lot of real estate here. And he'll be dragged out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. Chasing him down is Conrad Bristol. Bristol along with uh, Dylan Ellis. The gain of 13. That's that design play that we saw the Hawks try to run before. Everybody stayed home for the Chargers. Not that time. They run everybody off to the right side. Whoop. Miscommunication there. That ball slipped out of the hand of Carriker. He was trying to hit Dinkle. Well, that quick smoke route, tell you what, it's raining. They're wiping the ball before they put it down, but it doesn't matter. Even on the snap, it was so wet. Carriker couldn't get a grip on it, and he just fluttered it over the top of everybody. Second and 10 from their own 47 now. This is Horizon driving. Whistle's going to stop everything. So is the flag on the far side. False start. Second and 10 becomes second and 15 now as the ball's back at the 42 of Horizon. It started raining as we got into the second half and it hasn't stopped. It, in fact, the rain has picked up here. Sharp wind blowing from the southeast. Long count. Setting up a reverse. Nice juke up top there. And Dinkle down the sideline. He's got a first down and more up to near the 42-yard line. Dylan Ellis on the tackle that time. What a nice move. Boy, that looked like that was going to be stopped dead in its tracks. Down to the 42-yard line again, a 16. And a new set of downs for Horizon here. Still plenty of time left. News run out of bounds, so the clock stops. Score here, and it's a one-score game. Off to Toledo, nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? Bowen, it's back right there. Barley and Gator right in the middle of it. Dalton Keene coming around to help as well. Gain of only a couple. I take that back, a gain of nothing. Back at the 42-yard line. Option play, character Caught from behind, got to about the 37-yard line, though. I think Bristol might have gotten him from behind there as he was trying to cut back. Got about four and a half there, almost five. Third and five and a half coming up here. Puts Toledo in motion here. Quick drop, throw, and too high for Art Toledo. He was uncovered. A blown coverage by the Chargers, but they kind of break. Nobody followed the motion man all the way out to the slot. That was a big play. Well, sometimes you got to get lucky, and that's what happened. 
there for the Chargers that time. And again, hard to throw the football. It's wet. We've seen Carricker miss fire on one before. You can hear the wind in our mic. Carricker rolling here. Now fires up over the top. Caught. And that is Dinkle. Boy, he is a big target to find. Bristol on the coverage that time, but good catch by Dinkle. Up to the 27, and another new set of downs here. Coming up on nine and a half minutes left to go in the game. Horizon trying to get it down to a one-score game here. Chargers defense, can they step up? Got it done at the end of the half. Toledo bouncing and spinning off of tacklers down to the 16-yard line. It's a name we haven't called a lot. Garrett Hoeshaver on the tackle. 11 yards that time for Toledo. First and 10 now from the Chatfield 16. Offset eye, fullback, spins off of tackles and is still driving forward, still driving on his feet, and into the end zone he goes. What a run by Keenan Wilson. Wow. Refused to go down, his offensive line just kept pushing and pushing. Finally, he burst out of there. 11 plays, 77 yards. Three and a half minutes. The extra point by Jones is up and good, and we've got ourselves a ball game again. Horizon has cut Chatfield's lead down to just five points. Wow. Well, whether you're buying or selling a home, the West Ball team can help. 20 plus years experience selling homes in the South Jeffco area. Call 303-716. 3633 for free market analysis or consultation. Well, the Hawks fans are up now. You can hear them. We're on the horizon side here where the press box is at. I would imagine they are not going to be kicking this one deep. They'll squib it again. Jones to do the honors. Well, short pooch punt. Bounding ball scooped at about the 19-yard line now and trying to pick his way through. Got a little bit of room and tackled forward to about the 47 yard line. Great, great field position for Chatfield. The little pooch punt or a little pooch kick, not as effective as that squib kick. That squib kick seems to be a little harder to scoop up. And he pooched it right to Sean O'Dell. See, that's a guy you wanted to keep an eye on. Certainly, you don't want to get the ball to. Pitch here, down to the outside, nowhere to go, about a yard. And that's it. Sean O'Dell on the carry. Rolling, and a little short. Winkler can't get it out to him. Brings up a third down and nine now. Boy, a quick three and out. Be just what the doctor ordered for Horizon here. Chargers have got to find a way to move the chains and take a little time off the clock. 
quick strike offense. They'll slow it down here just a little bit. Odell trying to bounce to the outside. He'll be tackled at about the 47-yard line. Well, do you go here? Punt team looks like it's coming on. They're going to put it in the hands of the Charger defense. The all-important long snap and punt comes down to special teams a lot of times. Rugby-style kick just got it away. Bounding once and whoop, booted a moment. This one's headed toward the back of the end zone and Castiglione still on his feet trying to drive forward. Oh, he muffed it, got back to it. Takes it back out to the seven yard line. Boy, that could have been much worse. Seven thirty-two left to go here in the game. Boy, an entertaining game at that. Calling on the Chatfield defense to step up here again. Putting it on the Chargers now. Defensively, they were able to do it at the end of the first half. A little confusion on the defense here momentarily. Aiden Carricker back to the ground. The fullback, the quick hitter up to about the 16-yard line, and it's back to Wilson. Give him the 15, a gain of eight. Second and two coming up here. Boy, Horizon would take a five-minute drive this time, wouldn't they? Chargers got to find a way. It's all about the run game now. Fullback going to try to bounce to the outside. Not this time. Wilson, bulldog down, essentially. Blake Coleman on the tackle. Got to the, about the 12-yard line. Or excuse me, got to about the 17-yard uh, line. Rain on the window, rain on my glasses. Not a good combination. Option play, character. Tucks it, keeps it himself. Got that first down up near the 21-yard line. Clock rolls again, coming down to six minutes left here in this contest. Rain still coming down at a steady pace. Looks like the left side of the line jumped. Actually, I think one of the receivers jumped. I can see him. Got a pat on the back from one of his teammates there. That was Wilson. Just flinched. You know, when this game started, we were still well, we were pretty easily into the 60s. I guarantee you we're almost almost into the 40s now. Wind chill's definitely down there. Welcome to fall in Colorado. We'll wind the clock again. It'll be first and 15 now. They're back at the 15-yard line. Actually, the 16 is it set. Character rolling. Going to flip it out. How about that? Wilson with the catch going backwards will come up with it. And that's a, a, a Elijah Larry. Larry actually with the catch that time. A tight end. Or was it Toledo? I guess it was Toledo. Up to the 25-yard line. Looks like a 32 there for a minute. He had been out there the whole time. Manageable now. It's only second and five. Interesting kind of shot put it out there by character Back to his back hit Avoids the contact and leans forward to near the 27 yard line 
Well, I'll tell you what, the guys in the middle port, Chatfield getting a workout. Gator and Barley. Everybody hear that? We heard it. It's cold for the fans, that's for sure. Just talked about it. Gain of two. So a third and four coming up here. They've got to get that ball up to about the 31 yard line for a first down. Carriker's going to keep it himself, try to bounce. Oh, he tripped. He had just gotten outside the containment. No guarantee that he was going to get all the way around to the end, but. The defensive end had cut in on him and Carriker was ready to race around him but tripped over his own feet. Balls down at the 24 yard line so a loss of three and now fourth down and Horizon is going to have to punt here. Under four minutes to go. Will they? And Carriker does the punting too so it's always a dangerous situation. Nobody back deep again. For Chatfield, and boy, he is going to get a fantastic punt. Rolling inside the 20 and all the way down to the 11-yard line. Wow. Well, when you don't send a return man back, and of course the Chargers were burned once. So they weren't going to fall for it again. They were going to keep all 11 up near the line. They were not in the box, but all 11 in play, as opposed to dropping a return man back or two with the quarterback that does the punting. So now, Chatfield offense, boy, they gotta generate something here. Two punts in a row, you gotta figure something out. Burn a little time off the clock. You lead by five here, ball security key, but a couple of first downs to go a long way. And again, back right up the middle, they give it off. And I think Odell with the carry again. Yep, it was indeed Sean O'Dell. Boy, he is getting a workout. Nowhere to go, though. No gain. Second down. Clock still rolling here. Winkler tried to get it to O'Dell to bounce to the outside. Now he puts the foot in the ground and up to about the 17, maybe actually 16-yard line here. Clock still ticking down here. Horizon's got a couple of timeouts left. Thinking they can stop him here. Again, to Odell. Trying to get forward. He'll be taken down near the 17-yard line. And a quick timeout called by Horizon. And the Chargers are going to have to punt again. Well, they're going to put it on the defense here. Defense stepped up in the last series. They'll have to do it one more time. Chatfield will be punting essentially into the wind here. And it's howling a little bit. Stars and stripes on the northeast side of the field here. Not quite straight out, but away from the pole and fluttering a little bit. You know that's got to be in the mind of the punter. And again, it's more of a, it's a shorter snap. Dingle, Dinkle that is, is back to return this one. Are they bringing it? Boy, off the side of the foot. This one bounding up to about the 47 yard line. Not a great punt. Boy, it looked really bad when it got up in the air, but it took a Chatfield bounce. And now, two minutes, 32 seconds left to go here. Horizon back out on offense. And the Charger defense back out there to try to stop them here and preserve this lead that they've had since late in the second quarter. Horizon with good field position, obviously, at the 46-yard line. Third time that they've started in Charger territory. Off to the big fullback, he crashes his way forward to near the 40-yard line. Bass 
with the tackle that time. Ball to the 41, so a gain of five. Clock still rolling. Horizon's got another timeout there that I know of. Back to Wilson on the quick hit off that right side. Stopped up at about the 38 yard line. Barley coming off the pile. I'm sure Gator right in the middle of it as well. Dalton Keene there. And they're going to set the ball down here at about the 38. So a gain of three. Third down and two. And the timeout called. Minute 56 left to go. Well, you've got to get the first down here. Field goal does you no good. You've got to find a way to get it into the end zone. And again, it is still raining here. Carriker with, as the conditions have deteriorated, has become a little more inconsistent with the pass game. I've seen him shot put one for a first down in the last series. But he hasn't had a good grip of the ball. You've seen it smoke route that turned into a flop. The ball went over the top of everybody. But you can't guarantee that you can throw the football, but the run game's been very good for Horizon here in the second half. Option play, Carriker's the guy that's getting it done. Hit hard and down at the 25 yard line. Big gain on the option play. He called his own number that time. Here we go. 14 yards. Carriker again. This time to the running back. And that is Toledo down to the 15. Ridden down that time, Garrett Hoshaver. Big chunks of yardage though, a gain of nine. Up the middle they go. Gained him only a couple that time into the heart of the defense. Carriker just kept it himself. It is a first down. The clock will be wound here once they get the ball set. Time starts to become a factor here, though, as you get down to a minute and 10 seconds left to go. I don't think Horizon has a timeout left. I'm sure they talked about what happened in that first half. Going to keep this one, tucks it forward. Now it's going to be stopped inside the 10 yard line and then driven completely backwards. The clock continues to roll here. Well, the defense extra finishes on the uh, tackles that time. Really can slow the game down. Downey there and Keen on the tackle. And there's the last timeout right there. Yep, just look it up at the scoreboard there. Now they're out of timeouts. I was actually looking in the wrong spot there. The ball at the nine yard line, 50 seconds left to go. They can get a first down. At the three yard line. That would stop the clock momentarily. An incomplete pass or somehow you step out of bounds. The Hawks find themselves in a similar situation that they were in, though, in the first half. They're in the red zone, and now they're out of timeouts again. So what do you do? Wet night. Rain still falling. Not as hard as it was a little bit earlier, but still falling. Umpire's trying to do his best to keep the ball fairly dry, but no guarantee there. Here we go. Play action, gonna throw to the end zone, touchdown. Oh man, oh man. Geno Tate from his H-back spot. Pushing it right up the middle, offensively. Pounding and pounding and pounding away. And what happens? A play action. And Tate is standing wide open in the end zone. Seven plays, they went 46 yards. 
And the extra point upcoming here would make it a two point lead for Horizon. Kick is up and good. Well, the Horizon Hawks have come back with 47 seconds left. They lost the lead late in that second quarter. Had a chance to get it back right before the half. Time ran out on them. But the Hawks have come back to take the lead and now only 47 seconds left for Chatfield here. To try to come back and get that lead back and try to win the game. Well, credit Horizon's defense. They have forced three punts in a row by this up-tempo, quick-paced Chatfield Charger offense that was hadn't punted all night and then had to punt three times in a row. Horizon turned around and put three scores on them after those punts to get right back in the ball game. And now take the lead. 47 seconds left. Don't go away, folks. Funny things happen. I've seen a lot of high school football games with less time than this where teams have come back and made an exciting finish out of it. Well, let's see what Jones does here. Most likely another squib kick. No, he's actually going to kick this one away. You're kidding me. To the 13-yard line now, an opportunity for a return, and down he goes at the 26-yard line. Well, the chance was there. Good coverage, though, by special teams. Brom that time, I believe, on the return there. It's hard to pick out the numbers again with the white on white. Well, they will have it at their own 28-yard line. Time for Kyle Winkler to go to work here with his offense. They gotta find a spark and they gotta do it quick here with 42 seconds left. Quick throw over the middle, caught at the 35-yard line, quickly up to the line they'll come. And now a flag comes out here and that stops the clock with 31 seconds left. Well, let's, let's see what this is about. Oh, that's a killer. Thirty-one seconds left in an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, a personal foul against Chatfield, and I believe the white cap was the head official, of course, but the white cap. I think he's the one that threw it. Standing in the backfield there with the uh, Chargers. So that backs him all the way up to the 20 yard line here. Clock rolling, Winkler rolling to his left. Now fires it out there, it is caught. Tackle at about the 37 yard line and quickly up to the line will come the Chargers here. First, they'll stop the clock. Trips here to the right side. You may run them deep and hit somebody in the slot. Winkler's rolling here to the near side. Still looking, fires, caught. That is a first down, leaning forward. That is Chase Robinson on the catch. The clock will stop. They have to move the chains here. Bunch package to the right side. Winkler drops back. Look in, fires it out over the middle, incomplete. Who he was looking for there, number 15. That's a Thomas Eisenbast, and now seven seconds left. 
trips here on the bottom part of the screen. Short side of the field here. They put a second back on the clock. Winkler, three-step drop, quick throw to that side over there. Caught, stepping out at about the 48-yard line. will stop the clock. Here we go. Fired it over to the left side. Caught out of bounds. Do they stop the clock? They didn't get it stopped in time. Let's see. Referee holding it here. We're going to hand the football here to the white cap. Let's see. It's over. Ball in the air. It's done. Well, you had three seconds. Quick throw down the sideline to get out of bounds. The whistle blown, but he just ran out of time. That almost got him closer, but you needed to try to take a shot. And again, you throw it against the wind. Boy, oh boy. A disappointing loss here for Chatfield. Led at one point. A big lead at one point. Up by 12. A couple of scores. But the offense suddenly went cold. The Horizon defense, well, picked up a little bit. The offense certainly caught fire. I want to say thanks to our sponsors, of course. We'll be back with you here, I believe, next week with the Chargers here on Stream at Sports, but uh, special thanks to the folks at Les Schwab of Littleton, 13331 West Bowles Avenue, just off of C470 and the Bowles exit. Of course, Steve Westfall with the Remax Professionals. You can call him at 303-716-3633. To Chick-fil-A in Littleton at C470 and Kipling and Garbanzo Mediterranean Grill the corner of Bowles and Wadsworth in Littleton. As always, thanks to the Chatfield Gridiron Club for bringing us on board so that you can follow along Chatfield football all season long. You can find them at chatfieldfootball.com, Facebook Chatfield Football, or you can tweet them at chatfieldftfootball.